In this Secret of the Skinwalker Ranch episode, it appears like a fatal error occurred during a risky experiment. The team from the New Salt Laser and the Lock Boys travel to Skinwalker Ranch to conduct a significant experiment. In order to learn more about the weird events that have been witnessed at the ranch, tests combining lasers and rockets will be conducted. Laser beams have been observed bending and swirling in the atmosphere, which points to the presence of a significant object. When rockets were shot through this area, powders were thrown around to gather more precise visual data. Could this have been the reason for the disastrous error during the risky experiment? Let's find out then. In order to elicit a response in the zone that is one mile high and directly above the triangle, the crew gets ready for the experiment by using massive lasers and a laser scanner. They want to learn more about radiation spikes and the unexplained anomaly that has been seen in the past with lasers and GPS equipment. A laser will be scanning the sky above, in addition to the several powerful laser cannons that have been positioned all around the triangle. The crew plans to observe UAPs as well as other mysterious atmospheric occurrences. The primary rocket that was scheduled to be utilized in the experiment explodes on the launch pad, which causes disappointment. The team suspects that the catastrophic collapse was caused by the igniter functioning at a hazardous temperature. They can, however, carry out the experiment with one of the other rockets they have at their disposal. Another rocket is successfully launched, but instead of continuing higher, it makes an abrupt steep turn to the north. The team hypothesizes that either winds at higher altitudes or unidentified reasons caused the deflection. A UAP is also clearly visible on film as it maneuvers near the point where the laser beams collide. The group is debating whether or not their experiment was what produced the UAP and whether it was what caused the rocket to deviate from its intended path. The group considers the possibility that Skinwalker Ranch could include portals to other realms or possibly different worlds. They consider the potential that their experiment was the reason why the UAP showed up and make an educated guess as to where it might have gone after it vanished. They believe the experiment's outcomes to be some of the strangest things they have ever witnessed, and they are eager to continue their inquiry. Furthermore, there was yet another event, and yet another catastrophe occurred. The team keeps drilling through the mesa until they come across a huge hole. It appears that some strange things are happening. Tom, a team member, has health issues, including numbness in his arm, which causes him to black out. He is quickly transported to the emergency room of the hospital. An unexpected substance is found in the mud that is being removed as the hole is still being drilled. The mystery substance that was found appears to be metal flakes made of elements like iron, aluminium, and magnesium. The specialists are baffled since they have no idea how metal entered the mesa or where it could have come from. They come to the conclusion that additional research is required to fully understand what it is doing there. One thing is certain. The mystery surrounding Skinwalker Ranch and the nearby Uinta Basin has defied years of investigation, study, and analysis. However, the same might be said about the larger mystery surrounding UAP in general. Fugel believes that both puzzles may be answered by the continuing investigation at Skinwalker Ranch. After buying the property, Fugel established his own investigating group. I have put together a team of diverse professionals as part of our research, he says. Working collaboratively, physicists, engineers, and scientists from many disciplines can better understand what is happening. In order to determine whether there was a natural everyday explanation for what was recorded there, Fugel states that his team conducted soil studies, seismic record evaluations, and drone flyover inspections. Fugel wanted to maintain his anonymity in part to protect his reputation in his other business ventures. Who wants to be known as the person who witnessed UFOs? He asserts that the overwhelming response has been one of support and sincere inquiry nonetheless. After all, almost everyone can recall an experience that they are unable to properly express. It raises the question of why we don't treat UAP research seriously enough, a few people at least, taking the US government as an example. The investigation of UAP and other strange incidents, however, was not as prominent until lately. It's unknown if Skinwalker Ranch is currently pursuing this line of inquiry, though Fugel hinted that a potential expansion of the project will encompass research into human consciousness. The phenomena is referred to by him as precognitive, sentient, non-human intelligence. He says, 
It can react in accordance with your intention that you bring to the property. It can even anticipate and be aware of your thoughts and consciousness. The nature or goals of this alleged entity or entities have not been made clear to Fugel's crew. According to him, they are seeing a diversity of origins and agendas and that malevolent, benevolent, and benign forces are at work. Additionally, in Fugel's opinion, Skinwalker Ranch is the key to much more than just what is occurring there. It is all very convincing, according to one researcher. If we can use the ranch as a type of living laboratory to confirm that we are not alone in the cosmos, whether that means we are communicating with extraterrestrials, interdimensional phenomena, or spiritual creatures, everything that could happen did happen on the ranch when the Sherman family was in charge of it. Every day seemed to bring something out of the ordinary, from cow mutilations and poltergeist activity to crop circles and reports of skinwalkers. Nothing seemed to be able to happen just once a day. The Sherman family said that on multiple occasions, the night sky would strangely light up and that they frequently heard voices speaking right above them, but without bodies. There was no longer any sign of the cows everywhere after they abruptly stopped leaving hoof tracks in the snow. The Sherman family's animals came under attack at night by something that resembled a gigantic wolf. The beast took several hits from firearms before finally vanishing into the night, appearing unharmed and leaving no signs of blood trails behind. The Sherman family frequently encountered UFO sightings, some of which had tragic outcomes. Throughout the property, flying objects in a bright blue were visible. At one point, Terry Sherman ordered his dogs to chase one of these objects. The dogs yelled as they disappeared into the undergrowth, but they were never seen or heard from again. Upon closer inspection, Terry noticed strange greasy lumps and scorched soil. The look of the burnt dirt led him to believe that the blobs were the charred remains of his pets. For more exciting research updates, subscribe right away. Salisbury conducted interviews with eyewitnesses and collected first-hand descriptions of hundreds of UFO encounters that occurred on the Skinwalker Ranch starting in the 1950s. Together with his buddy Joseph Jr. Hicks, a meticulous record-keeping schoolteacher in Roosevelt, Salisbury's research into the Skinwalker Ranch resulted in the collection of these testimony and interview materials. Salisbury's work was based on both first-hand observations and inferences that were reached after conducting these interviews. According to the authors of Hunt for the Skinwalker, strange things started happening much earlier. When the Uinta Basin was still a part of the Ute tribe's ancestral hunting grounds, before the U.S. government forced them to live on a reservation, now known as the Ute Indian tribe of the Uinta and Ure Reservation, and permitted white ranchers to settle in the region. Although there had been reports of UFOs and skinwalkers in the area for decades, Skinwalker Ranch didn't become known as a hotspot for paranormal activity until the early 1990s. It had previously been the home of the Myers family who had previously built several homesteads on the property. They stayed there until 1987, and throughout that time they experienced few, if any, strange incidents. Their tenure there was tranquil and uneventful. However, after Terry and Gwen Sherman purchased the ranch in 1994, odd events began to happen. The ranch had been vacant for seven years prior to their purchase. The Sherman family experienced paranormal activity over the course of the next two years, which ultimately prompted them to sell their house and leave the area. On the ranch of the Skinwalkers, an odd power was encountered. To learn more, see the video after this one.